In today's Money Watch with new inflation numbers out, this morning we are highlighting a new tool just for you to help you save some money. Here's the thing, 63% of voters in a recent CBS News poll rate the economy as bad. People are concerned about the prices of everything from food to housing and much more. Nancy Chen is here with our new tool and some tips on how to save you some money. Nancy, good morning. Hey, Nate, good morning to you. That's right. It's called the CBS News Price Tracker, and it uses information from the government as well as private companies to give us a real-time look at okay. those price fluctuations. It's on everything from gas to that morning cup of joe that we love so much around here. Right, so right. actually on that point, let's start there with breakfast, most important meal of the day. Okay. Price Tracker shows that prices for staples like eggs, yogurt, Frozen orange juice and bread have actually gone up significantly mm. since 2019. Not everything is higher overall, though. Prices for milk, bananas, and strawberries, they've actually stayed about the same or actually gone down slightly. Okay, so what can we do to save on those items that aren't coming down yet? Think about cheaper alternatives that can still do the trick, like okay. frozen produce, frozen fruits and vegetables instead of fresh. Sign up for those free loyalty programs at the grocery store, but be aware that some companies track your data. Also, try rebate or coupon apps. It's much easier to do it from your phone rather than cutting out the coupons. We did that in my family, but I always had a uh, tendency to lose all Yeah, of we're around the same age. Yeah. We did the same thing. Another big topic of concern is energy costs. Now, we are still dealing with these summer heat waves, and many of us have the AC on blast yes. right now. And those Labor Day trips, they are right around the corner. What is the price tracker telling us about that? Yeah, road trip is actually a pretty good idea because gas is actually one of those less expensive categories right now with the average gallon costing $3.41. But electricity costs, they are on the rise. So consider bumping your thermostat up about 7 to 10 degrees higher before you leave the house. It seems like the natural thing to do, but don't turn it off because that could actually cost you more. Also, this may be surprising. Hot water is the second largest energy expense in most homes. So, Nate, consider taking colder, cooler, faster showers. Don't be a shower hog and don't keep it hot and steamy. Uh, okay, so take those ooh, cold <laughs> showers while the AC ramps back up. Got it. We appreciate it, Nancy. Thank you so much. For more of this great data, I mean, it updates automatically in real time. So this is really cool. All you got to do is head over to cbsnews.com slash prices for up-to-date information, and it can help you save on everything. It's a tool that we all need right now, especially in these days that we're living in financially.